So when doing graphing the absolute value, my best thing that I like you guys to do is just you guys need to know what the absolute value function looks like. It's the V-shaped graph, right? The V-shaped graph. I'm not going to do the table, but when I first taught this, we used a table to understand what the points were. Absolute value of 1 is 1. Absolute value of 2 is 2, right? That's the same thing for negative 1 and negative 2. So it looks like a V. Right? That's what the parent graph looks like. Now, the next thing you need to understand was the transformations. And we talked about this as well in this class. y equals a times x minus h minus or plus k. We need to remember, what did a, h, and k do? a, remember, either um, compressed or stretched the graph. It also, if it was negative, reflected it over the x-axis. And h moves the graph left to right. k shifts the graph up or down. The, best, the easiest way to apply transformations was you need like kind of a focus point. And the focus point was our turning point of the absolute value, which we called the vertex, right? So this little vertex, if I am looking here, I need to identify my transformations. Remember, it's x minus h, right? Well, this is x plus 2. Can I write this in the form of x minus h? Yes, x minus negative 2, right? So therefore, a is 1 third, h is negative 2, and k is negative 3. So since h is negative 2, I'm going to be shifting to the left. Remember, what it's always like basically the opposite when it's inside the function. So I'm going to go left 2, down 3. Then the other difference was this 1 third. It's positive, so the graph is going to open up. However, the difference with this was we kind of thought of this as like our slope. Instead of going over 1, up 1, we kind of went over 1, up 1 third, right? Instead of going over 2, up 2, we went over 2, up 2 times 1 third. Another way to think about this was like a slope, up 1, over 3. Up 1, over 3. You guys can see this graph is being stretched horizontally, right? That 1 third is stretching it horizontally or compressing it vertically. And I got that based on the A. Anybody have any questions on transformations or what the graph looks like? Yes? Yes, because remember, the formula is x minus h. That's the formula, x minus h, right? So x plus 2, how can you write that in the form x minus h? x minus a negative 2. So in reality, h is negative. So it's actually going to the left. That's a negative 2. Does that make sense? OK. All right, the next problem. 